Welcome to one of an occasional series of uh, what, track battles, closed circuit slugfests, Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, anyway, we would like to know two things about these cars here, one of which is... Which is fastest. And the other one is... Which is more fun. We're like the Anton deck of motoring, aren't we? <laughs> anyway, it's an M2 and a Porsche 718 Cayman S, so let's find out. What flavour 718 is that? This is a Cayman S, so it's the sort of 2.5 litre, 345 horsepower version, um, which isn't quite as powerful or significantly isn't as torquey as what you're driving. Uh, are you Spanish or are you automatic? I am Spanish, mate. I have a, I have a manual gearbox. Nobody's going to understand a word we're saying. <laughs> Spanish, Manuel, is very straightforward, mate. It's very straightforward. Uh, yeah, I'm manual as well. Um, you can't get carbon ceramics as an option on this and you can't get adaptive dampers as an option on this. Uh, have you got both? Yes, I have. Right, okay. Let's see what it's like. Loads of torque in this. Mind you, I'm at sort of three and a half thousand revs, so I suppose there would be. It looks like it pulls away down the straights. Stops well enough. Good pedal feel. And if you're expecting a really Larry 370 horsepower rear drive front engine car, this isn't it. At least not if, not unless you really want it to be. It just threatens to go there. You can hear the revs rise, can't you? And the diff kicks in and it just straightens its line a bit on the throttle, but it's not mega, mega sideways. Not that I've ever were these mid-engine Caymans, it's stable on the throttle initially. So you do have to unsettle it a little bit to introduce that bit of playfulness that you want. But if your trail breaks, I suspect you can have as much as you need. These faster down the straights. I'm quicker through the apex. Down the straights, I think it's got the edge on the Porsche, but through the corners, it has not, maybe unsurprisingly. Haha, <laughs> I'm too. I think I am faster. Can't quite keep up with a um, with a well-driven Cayman, but really quite grippy, quite adjustable. Disinclined to let go until oh, I just can't keep on putting it through the corners. Disinclined to let go unless you really ask it to. And the Porsche is getting further and further away. balanced though this really nice poise and balance to it I like it steadily and surely <laughs> it's getting smaller I can't keep up with him mate I can't keep up with you uh, that is the faster car yeah I think you're right mate I'm uh, I'm having quite a lot of fun and also going quite quickly, although I'm having to work for it, mate. I can see, I can see that, mate, from the fact that it, it looks quite adjustable. It looks like it's got A, a bit of understeer, and then B, quite quick oversteer, whereas this feels a bit more benign to me. So what do we think, mate? I was having quite a lot of fun in that. Mm, I think you were. I was having a lot of fun in that too, but uh, I was surprised to see how much fun you were having in this. Really. I expected the difference to be like that between them, and I think it's not, and I think quite a lot of that is engine. Hmm. Yeah, BMW have always been good at them, and Porsche used to be, and they seem to have got the wrong idea of that. Uh, so, which is faster? Quite easy, that one. Mm -hmm. Which is more fun? That one by a bit? Certainly by a lesser margin. Yeah. That engine is now 
all of a sudden quite unworthy of the best sports car of its kind and yeah. that just take the edges off a bit. I agree, you? I agree, yeah. So uh, it probably is 2-0 but by a much narrower margin than you think. Mm.